What up folks, it's Alex here and I'm back with a quick tip video for you today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use real simple keyframes on your audio so that you can adjust the volume within particular parts. Now that helps you to bring music in and out like so. And it also helps you to bring up the volume of really quiet parts and bring down the volume if there's a loud noise, like a clap, for example. Really help you balance the audio throughout your entire project. Now, in my previous video, I showed you how to use the meters to set your volume and how to normalize all of the audio across your project. If you missed that one, click up here somewhere, it's linked above. Definitely watch that one first. It makes the most sense to normalize all your audio across the project, and then you can go and just adjust any anomalies or just the audio, the music tracks, if you need to. So, with that all out of the way, let's open DaVinci Resolve, and I'll show you how. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve, we're on the Edit tab, and as you can see, I've already set up my project. We've got two audio tracks. Audio 1 has got my dialogue on it, and then audio two has my music track. Now I've already normalized all of my audio and I've used the mixer to set my meters. Again, check my previous video for more information on that. Now what I've got here is my music and it's quite loud if we just hit play. And it sounds great on its own, but when we start talking, the music is too loud. It's distracting from the dialogue. So we just want to bring it down at that point. All you need to do is find the point where you want the volume to begin coming down. So not the point where you want it to be at its lowest, at the point where you want to start ramping that audio either up or down. So for me, it's right about this point where I bring my hands up. I'm going to click on the audio track. I'm going to open up the inspector. And we're looking at this here, the clip volume. And we're just going to click on this icon here, this little diamond to add a keyframe. If you need more information about keyframes, click on my video linked above. So we're going to add a keyframe there, but we're not actually going to adjust anything. Then we're going to move our playhead to the point where we want the volume to be at its lowest, which is there for me. So I'm going to add another keyframe, like so. And at this point, we can just reduce that volume. And as you can see, the music is quite loud here, up until that keyframe starts reducing to here, and then it remains quiet. So if we listen to that now, there we go, the volume just comes straight down. If you want to do the opposite, so bring it back up. At this point here, I bring the music back up. So at this point right here, we're going to add a keyframe. And then I want it to be back its original level here, so we're going to add a keyframe there. I'm just going to set that back to what it originally was, which is zero. And as you can see, again, the audio will just come back up. So now if we hit play, the music ramps up and it's back to that original level. Now on occasion, you may have spikes in your audio like I clapped in the introduction. And it's too loud, it's louder than everything else. So we just wanna bring the audio levels for that clap down. And it's dead easy again, you do it in the exact same way. So here's the clap, I can see it on my timeline. So I'm just gonna select that audio file. And just before that sound, we wanna add a keyframe. The point somewhere in the middle, we're going to add a middle keyframe and then just at the end we're going to add a third keyframe so we've got three this first keyframe is where we want the volume to begin coming down this middle keyframe is where we want it to be at its lowest and this final keyframe is the point where we want the volume to be back up to where it was originally now you can select the keyframes just by putting your playhead over them you'll know you're directly over it because the little keyframe icon up here will be highlighted in red or alternatively, you can just use these little left and right arrows to flick between the three keyframes. So we're just going to select the middle one, and then we're just going to lower the volume. So I'm going to bring that right down. And then if we look on our timeline, we can see the volume is level here. Then it comes down for the clap and then back up again here. So now if we listen to that, we can still hear the clap but it's way quieter, way less distracting, and hopefully won't blow anyone's eardrums out. And that was it, I hope it was useful. If it was, thumbs up, any comments or feedback down below. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I hope you're all staying safe and keeping well. I'll see you next time. Bye.